Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty and Max here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So if you guys like Cliff Bars, then you're going to love today's recipe because we've got a fantastic, delicious snack. It's zero waste, no packaging, unprocessed, and of course it's vegan, it's gluten-free. We're making veganized energy protein bars. Yes, these things <laughs> are amazing. And I'm not just saying it because we made them, they seriously are tasty. So I take these on bike rides, I eat them before the gym, after the gym, before and after runs. They are seriously packed with healthy fats, tons of protein, and super tasty goodness. You can't even use these as a dessert which I love to do. And not to mention they are super kid friendly. Not that Max gets to try them quite yet, but your kiddos are gonna love them and they're fun to make. Yes, so <laughs> let's get into the recipe. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this one. So Aaron and I, as you guys know, have committed ourselves to lifting more weights, to putting on some beefy vegan gains this year, and we've both been pretty successful. Healthy fats, good calories, and tons of protein. These protein bars seriously help. So are you guys ready? Me and Max are gonna list off the ingredients that you're gonna need. You will need one cup or about eight soaked pitted dates, about three quarters cup of vegan dark chocolate, one cup of rolled oats, two tablespoons of coconut flakes, two tablespoons of peanut butter or almond butter, and two tablespoons of hemp seed. You will also be needing one scoop of our favorite Sun Warrior Vanilla Warrior Blend. So after you drain the water from your soaked dates, we're gonna place them into our food processor along with our rolled oats, our coconut and hemp. Let's scrape in our nut butter. And finally, we're gonna add in our Sun Warrior Vanilla Protein and we do have a discount code if you enter Eat Move Rest at checkout on the website linked below in the description. You can get 20% off of $50 or more. Now that everything is in our food processor, we are gonna start pulsing. So pulse, 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 and then we'll probably have to clean the sides. And once it starts rolling, like it might make a ball, you can leave it on for sometimes a minute or two, if you're still not getting your desired texture, it needs to be something that you can play with, right? And kind of mold, you can add a little bit of water or almond milk, but let's just get going and see how it turns out. Okay, so now that we've got our desired texture, we're gonna scoop it out, put it in a pan, and keep this recipe rolling. So the secret here is gonna be to line your pan with parchment paper and then press your bars into the pan. Meanwhile, Dusty is going to be melting our dark chocolate to drizzle on top. So this is where the finger licking fun comes in for you and your kiddos, because these are so good. So if this is a little too sticky and moist, then pop it in the refrigerator and let it chill for a little bit before pressing it into your pan. While Aaron is patting that down, we are gonna melt our chocolate down and then drizzle it over the top, add them to the freezer, cut them out and we're good to eat. Melt it down over super low heat. It doesn't take any time at all, I promise. Okay, our chocolate is melted. So we're gonna drizzle it on like Mr. Chocolate here. We are smoothing this chocolate out. You can drizzle it, kind of do little lines depending on how much chocolate you like. I'm a chocoholic, so I gotta get as much on there as I possibly can. But we are all smoothed out now. This goes in the freezer for a couple of hours. We take it out, slice it up, and dish it up. Good to go, can't wait. You'll want to keep these in the freezer for at least an hour, if not longer, because it'll make them so much easier to cut. And then from there, you can store them in your refrigerator for a few days. Okay, you guys, so I just grabbed our protein energy bars out of the freezer. I've got one of Dusty's cutting boards here, which he does sell on his website. So you can either DM him or send him an email. Get on there and check them out if you're interested in one. We're gonna slice into these bad boys. All right, you guys, we're all chomping at the bit to give these bad boys a go, so. Should we give them a taste? We've got to. <laughs> you want this one? Mmm. These things are seriously good. A lot of people ask us about our plant-based protein. Some people are for it. Some people are against it. And the truth is, we are athletes. We like to use it. <laughs> we love Sun Warrior. They have answered all questions <laughs> about 
whether or not it's clean, whether or not it's actually raw or actually organic, these guys are legit. They've, they've debunked every myth about them not being clean. We like it. It tastes amazing. And again, with those branch chain amino acids and that protein mixed with your fruit smoothie, that glycogen, there's no better pre or post workout smoothie than with Sun Warrior. We seriously love this stuff. So anyway, let us know what you guys think. If you, if you have an opinion on protein, protein powders, and if you want a protein dedicated video, let us know in the comments below. We'd be glad to do an updated, where do you get your protein video? Because we get that question <laughs> Probably 10 times a day. It's definitely the most common question. Like yeah. Jesse said, if you guys want a dedicated protein video, or if you want more protein packed recipes, we're full of those, <laughs> let us know in the comments below. Over and out, and you know the drill. Eat, move, rest, your best. Bye. <laughs> yeah. I want to Silence all the noise and lower both our voices and talk so